This board doesn't know it yet, but I'm about to make it a thing. I'm Travis and this is how I do things. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple cedar birdhouse using only $3 in materials. All you need for this build is a single four foot cedar fence picket. I got this one from Home Depot. I'm also gonna do all my cutting today with a jigsaw and a circular saw, just to show you you don't need fancy tools to build cool stuff. Now let's build a birdhouse. If you'd like to follow along using my plans, there's a link in the description down below. The first thing I need to do is cut all of my pieces according to the cut list in my plans. Be sure to label all your pieces once they're cut. You can actually make nice straight cuts with a circular saw using a straight edge as a guide. So I'd just like to point out that um, you can absolutely do this with one plank, but I bought two just in case I screwed something up. And I did screw something up, so I'm gonna have to cut one piece out of my new plank. One of the roof pieces needs one thickness of a board ripped from one edge. It's best to just use a board to mark this instead of a dimension because this will account for any variation in thickness. Once marked, I carefully made the cut with my jigsaw. While I had my jigsaw out, I also cut the 45 degree cuts for the roof of the front and back pieces. Do not use a circular saw for these cuts. The pieces are way too small and it would be very dangerous. One and a half inches is kind of a general size for a birdhouse hole. However, if you're trying to attract a certain type of bird, you may want a different size hole, so be sure to do your research first. Now you can cut this hole by drilling a hole and then cutting it out with a jigsaw. However, I have this nice one and a half inch Forstner bit, so I'm going to use that. When using a hole saw or a Forstner bit, start with a small pilot hole as a guide. Then cut halfway through with the hole saw or Forstner bit. Then flip the board over and cut the rest of the way through. This will leave a nice clean hole with no tear out. Before assembly, you should sand everything. Doing most of the sanding before assembly is much easier and will save time. My plans have very clear instructions on how to assemble all the components. And to assemble all the components, I'll be using wood glue and brad nails. To be more specific, I'll be using Tight Bond 3 wood glue, which is waterproof and is perfect for outdoor projects. Use a glue spreader to spread your glue and be sure to get a nice even coat of glue on the entire edge. And as you can see, I am using a brad nailer, but if you don't have a brad nailer, you could also use finishing nails and a hammer or wood screws. Whatever fastener type you decide to use, be sure to install it centered and perpendicular to the surface. Otherwise, this could happen. To fix this, I'll just break off the nails with pliers and add new nails. I'll fill the holes later before sanding. After you attach the pieces together, wipe off any excess glue that might have squeezed out. A little glue squeezing out is fine. If a lot of glue squeezes out, you're using too much. Now continue gluing and fastening all the boards together according to the plans. Install the last roof piece with no wood glue, just screws. This will allow you to easily remove it later to clean it out. It also helps when installing it. To do this, I marked out my hole locations and then drilled some countersunk holes to hide the screw heads. Then I used a punch to mark where the holes need to be on the birdhouse. Then I pre-drilled some holes for the screws and then installed the panel. I use stainless screws so they won't rust. And when you're all done, it should look something like this. I like to fill my holes by putting a little wood glue in the hole and then just sanding. I like this method because it fills the hole fast and the filled hole has a similar color to the wood around it. Cedar is naturally rot resistant, but just to bring out the color of the wood and protect a little bit more, I'm going to use a little bit of Odie's oil. Odie's oil is totally natural, so it's also safe for the birds. To apply Odie's oil, all you need to do is literally just work it into the surface and you're done. It's a piece of cake. To install your birdhouse, you can remove the cleanout panel and drive screws into a tree or pole. Or you can install some threaded eyes here right on the top and hang it from a tree. Well, that's it. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this birdhouse. If you did, please go down below and click on the link and get your own plans on my website. Also, give me a like, comment, and then subscribe, and then check out one of these other awesome videos up here. I'll see you guys.